Public investigator Paul O'Sullivan has been released on 20,000 rand bail. He was arrested by the Hawks on Friday evening for allegedly breaching immigration laws. Hawks national spokesperson Hangwani Mulaudzi joins us now on the line. Good evening to you, Hangwani. Thank you very much for coming on to speak to us. Now, I understand carrying three passports is considered illegal in South Africa. But is it true this is possibly the first case of its kind you've actually prosecuted? Well, I don't have the statistics, unfortunately. I cannot answer you on that one. Uh, but we we view uh, this matter in a very serious light, uh, taking into consideration the fact that uh, if you are a naturalized uh, citizen of a country, you are not allowed to have more than uh, two or three uh, passports. You can have as many as you would want to as such, but <clears throat> I mean, citizenship. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mixing myself here. Uh, you're not allowed to have actually um, passports uh, for that uh, you would use from other countries. So, um, hence, uh, this uh, arrest was effected on Friday. Uh, uh, the question I'm trying to get at here is, uh, uh, is Paul O'Sullivan being treated differently to many others who, who use multiple passports in this country? Well, I don't know. Maybe, Joanne, that maybe you might have other information in that regard. Um, Mr. O'Sullivan is a, is a high-profile person in this country. And as such, um, hence we received this information from Home Affairs. Uh, we had to come in because it falls within our mandate. And I think we should also uh, congratulate uh, Home Affairs systems uh, who are able to pick up such kind of things because uh, you would want, not want to see this uh, kind of activity uh, infiltrating and coming into the country because you never know what might happen if such kind of things might happen in this country. Is it true that uh, you're uh, considering or you're following up on, on what, what may possibly end up in a treason charge against O'Sullivan? I don't know where this uh, treason thing is coming from, uh, but there is an investigating team that is busy probing this matter. Uh, I don't remember anybody talking about uh, uh, anything about treason. Uh, so I think let's just leave it to the investigators themselves. They will be able to know exactly what kind of charges if there are any that needs to be added. Hangwani, let, let's look at the events of two weeks ago. I believe Paul O'Sullivan wrote an email saying 20 million rand had been put towards using the Hawks, South African Airways, the National Prosecuting Authority and the South African Police Service to stop the Gupta family from extending their influence here in implying, uh, of course, that he had challenged authorities like the Hawks to stop him from exposing this story to the world uh, and implying that's why you arrested him. Uh, well, I think that's just a conspiracy. Uh, people are not talking about it. It's just that we, we don't do such kind of things. Uh, they're not talking about the emails that we, we get, uh, personally that I get, that uh, involves my family as well. So there's a lot of things that people don't know what has been happening behind the scenes. Uh, yes, some of those emails were also uh, sent to us, uh, claiming the same sentiment that you are uh, I mean, that you are talking about. Uh, but we, we we take them very seriously because it also talks to us in the sense that there is a war that is going to be raised in this country. So. Uh, such kind of things, we, we, we take them as, um, as very serious in the fact that we have to protect the, the you know, citizens of this country, uh, the sovereignty of this country, because we don't know what kind of war was going to be waged. So there's a lot of stuff that has been written, Joanne, that uh, you and if I have to give to you, you'll be shocked. So, so what, what does that mean? Does that mean you're following up on, on O'Sullivan's allegation regarding this, this 20 million rand supposedly being put aside for the, for the purposes of, of clamping down on the Gupta businesses here? Well, I don't know. I mean, those are the allegations that he has made. Um, but I think it will be proper as, as well that we don't have to divide something that is still being investigated. But yes, some of the letters were sent to the media. People, they are aware what is going on. But I think these are just selective uh, emails that were sent. There are a lot of emails that we have received uh, that do not even support in terms of those allegations. But these ones are now becoming very personal uh, in the sense that uh, our families were now uh, being intimidated within ourselves. Uh, we're also being intimidated in terms of uh, things having had to, have to happen to us. Some of, I mean, personally myself, I was told that I would be in a body bag. So it, it shows to you that we are dealing with somebody who actually we, we have to make sure that we go deep into this issue that he has been uh, sending, in, sending to us.
Uh, the, the Hawks we know in other policing bodies have had a highly fractious relationship with O'Sullivan in the past. Is it possible that, that authorities are just trying to silence a man who is a constant thorn in your side and, and who sometimes get it, gets it right when our own local officials don't? No, not at all. I think that is what the... Uh, this, I mean, many people think as if there's a conspiracy against him. The man has been cooperating with us very well, but in terms of such of that, in terms of that, uh, we were trying to silence him. That is not true. Uh, a person who if he has committed crime, has committed crime, let's accept that uh, he will be the one to be able to prove himself otherwise in the court. So uh, I think let us leave that to the, to the courts to, to unravel that. Hence, if you also look at the, the bail uh, that was uh, given to him, 10,000 rails, it's very much unusual. Uh, so it shows that the court is also taking this very seriously. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Hangwani Mulaudzi, National Spokesperson for the Hawks.